Hey guys, Gary Box here. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about butterfly lighting and what some boom options are. So this is just a quick iPhone video in the studio just to, uh, to give you a little bit of an idea. So in butterfly lighting, our light tends to go directly above in front of the subject, shining light down, so we get this little butterfly-shaped uh, highlight underneath the nose shadow. And uh, if you've got a really symmetrical face, butterfly light is just absolutely beautiful. Um, if you've got a very asymmetrical face, it's probably not your best lighting choice. You're better to light from one side or the other using a loop or a Rembrandt, a Rembrandt light or something like that. So, um, so by putting the light above, you know, the easiest way to do that is with a boom. So let's talk about some options here. So right here I have, uh, this is my favorite boom setup. This is the Manfrotto Super Boom. And I could put a link to some of these things down in the comments underneath, okay? So um, this is a Manfrotto Super Boom. It has a Molite Godox 400 Pro on it and a uh, Molite uh, Snap 24 inch, or it's at the 36 inch reflector on it. So um, this is a great light for this. This gives a really, really good light quality. It's soft, uh, but it's, it's still beautiful. So in butterfly light, we're gonna wanna position the light directly over so we actually get the nose shadow straight down right here. Now, one of the reasons I love this boom, first of all, I can handle a bigger light and it can reach out a little bit further. But here's the real beauty. On the bottom end here, it has these cranks. And so from these cranks, you can actually turn and tilt your light while it's up in the air suspended. And trust me, if you work with a boom very much, this is gold right here because your light can be way up there and you don't have to bring it down or climb up on something to be able to do it. You can just go to these cranks and aim it straight from the bottom, okay? So this is your basic butterfly light position right here, directly over the face like that. Now, if your subject is turned to the side, then your butterfly light is still going to be directly above, but that's gonna mean that it's like a little bit offset from the camera because it stays in line with the face. So if you turn the face one side to the other, you're gonna to wanna to move and turn the light with it so that it's still in the proper position relative to the face. So that is basically it. Now, what you use up here as a reflector can be almost anything. Uh, common is a, a beauty dish. You can use small reflectors. You can use uh, larger soft boxes. I've actually had a six by six Larson soft box up on this boom and it'll hold it. So um, ideally uh, a small to medium size, a little bit of a harder reflector works really well for this though. So this is my favorite boom collection. I still have sandbags on it right here at the bottom uh, to make sure that it's good and stable. So if you've got this space, there is no other substitute for this boom. It's about $650, so it's not cheap, but it's not ridiculous either. But I do wanna talk about a couple of other options to be able to get your light into this butterfly position, okay? So um, one of the options, we'll spin this out of the way a little bit here, is your basic C-stand. You can get the C-stand with a short arm and uh, there's all different directions. And this works really well, but you've got a pretty short distance. Uh, so it's great for like headshots or something like that, but it's probably not gonna work very well for a full length shot. So um, this is one great and inexpensive way. Um, you can get uh, extendable booms like this that just go on a really heavy light stand. They're not gonna be as long and you can't tilt them from the bottom, but again, uh, a lesser expensive option right here. So um, there's a couple of different options, but. I want to go a little bit beyond that into a couple of other things for you. And um, so if you're really on a tight budget or really limited for space, how can you pull this off? How can you get butterfly light if you don't have the space or budget for a $650 boom? So what I'm going to show you next is what I call the poor man's boom. And I'm going to rotate this camera over here a little bit and spin it to the side. Okay, so um, let's, we're going to move a little. All right, what I have here is a basic background stand, okay? And on your background stand, you can get a Manfrotto super clamp, okay, just like this. These things will clamp onto a pipe or a two before or anything, and you crank them down. I mean, you can hang off of one of these things. They're pretty incredible. So you can set up your background stand like this and put your super clamp on it and tighten it down. Then take your head, 
and put it on the super clamp just like this and then put your light modifier on it. Now, this is not gonna hold a lot of weight because these poles aren't usually real solid. So one of the things that's a great idea is here I'm using the, uh, the Godox, uh, Godox Molite 600. And so what I've got is the extension head, if you see. So I'm gonna lower this down just a tiny bit. It's a shot of my arm. Okay, so here we've got the weight of the power pack down here on another super clamp. And then the extension head comes up here, so you're not actually holding very much light up on the stand this way. So this is a great way to, to get you that butterfly light position on tight space or a limited budget, either one. But trust me, having this extension head really helps if you're using a lightweight boom option like this. Now another one, and I actually have a chandelier hanging on it as a prop in the studio. Um, I'm probably going to have to back up and show you this. This is called a wall boom right here. So it actually mounts to the wall and you can extend it out and up and down and that gives you the ability to be able to put a light up in a butterfly light or high position. This is great if you have a small space, the walls are close to you, you can put one of these babies on the wall, screw it into a stud and have a great option for being able to bring that butterfly directly overhead light or a hair light or anything like that. So boom lights are great. And yes, they work well on props too. So I use it as a chandelier. I can move it in, move it out, uh, up, down, or whatever. Um, the last thing that I wanna show you is, um, so clamshell light is where you're above and below, like above and below like this, okay? So it is basically butterfly light with a bottom light as a fill uh, to kind of come back in. So, if you use a Manfro Manfrotto 321 stand, and I'm going to move this over here to our model and re the camera for a second. All right. So, here we go. Now, this Manfrotto 321, this is actually a Studio Titan, an older one. Uh, the Manfrotto version, I think, is made a little bit better, a little bit newer. But... The lights are offset on these little clamps like this, and you can actually buy an extra clamp and have two of them. And the nice thing is you can position your lights like this above and below for clamshell lighting on your subject. The cool thing too is since the stand is offset is you don't have the stand down the middle, so you can just shoot right in between here. Great for a headshot again, because you don't have the distance and the reach of the boom, not so great for a full length shot, but this works really good for headshots and uh, clamshell lighting. I do a lot of business headshots and uh, modeling headshots and everything like that using this method. And uh, so you can see here um, the clamps on the side of it. Sorry, I'm hung up on something. There you go. So you've got that clamp just like that offset and you can position the camera right in between those two lights for your clamshell. Or you could just use a single one as a butterfly light with uh, using a reflector or another light as a fill down below if you didn't want to go clamshell. So that gives you a couple of options that you can use to be able to uh, position and get this uh, clamshell or butterfly light position by using a boom or some other tool because it's really tough to pull off with just a normal light stand. So I hope that helps and gives you some options. I'll put links for a lot of this stuff in the comments below. Uh, so if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to like the video if you will. And uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.